Hi there. I'm Dr. Jason Van Horn, Professor of Geography at Calvin University. In this video, we're going to take your first steps into the larger world of GIS with ArcGIS Pro. We'll take a look at how we navigate in ArcGIS Pro, how we bring in spatial layers, take a look at the ways we can do spatial analysis, and finally and ultimately make a map together. So let's get started now. Okay, let's launch the software. Here in my Windows environment, I'll search for ArcGIS Pro and click on it. Now the familiar uh, splash screen for ArcGIS Pro will appear every single time that you launch the software. And that will take us to a landing page where then we can create new projects or access previously made projects. In this case, I'm working in the dark theme, so you may see uh, a light view. To change it to the dark theme, you change it in the settings. And I show this in my top five tips and tricks for ArcGIS Pro video on YouTube. And so here we're going to start a new project. I'm going to click on map for the black blank template. And here I'm going to change the name of my project. I'll make it lab one for this video. Take note of where the files are being saved to. Where is your project saved? In this case, it's being saved to my documents folder on my C drive. In this case, and maybe it's you as well, I'm working on a different drive. I'm actually working with a USB drive on E. So I'm going to navigate to that by left clicking on browse and navigate to my E drive and my GIS data folder that's on my flash drive. I'm going to hit OK. And now lab one will be created in the GIS data folder because I have this checkbox to create a new folder for this project. Now I'll click OK. In this case then, ArcGIS Pro will create the project environment with all of those different connections. And so here what we want to do is we want to navigate and show you the different elements of ArcGIS Pro so that you can begin to do your GIS work. So here after my project is loaded, I have at the top a, a series of options of different kinds of main menu options, map or, or insert or analysis and others. I always have a ribbon that's connected to each one of those particular kinds of, of main menu options. I have on the left uh, by default a contents pane. We often call that the table of contents and this is where we put our spatial layers. In the middle is our data view. In this case, you can see it's got a little tab here called map. And on the right, I have another pane that's open. In this case, it's called catalog. So if we want to hide any panes, we can, we can do that at any time by just simply left clicking on the auto hide. It unpins the actual pane. And so now it just becomes text on the side. Let's go ahead and repin that so that it's always open when we're working in the ArcGIS Pro environment. Let me grab the top of it by left clicking and holding the left mouse button down. And now I can drag it around. You can drag these panes all around the ArcGIS Pro environment and dock them wherever you want. So you just drag them into the different locations here uh, to dock them. So I just docked it there. I don't like that location, so I'm going to grab it again and dock it back over on this right side of my screen. And I'm going to reduce the size of it okay, by just choosing to, to rescale it. All right, so that is the kind of general environment for ArcGIS Pro. Now let me show you how we add data. So when we are going to add data, we're going to do that from the catalog or from our add data option on our main menu uh, ribbon. So let me show you that now. Whenever we create a project, uh, the project folder will be under folders. And so here you can see our lab one folder is there. If I expand lab one folder, you can see that we have a geo database that is created in that uh, lab one folder. Every time you create a project, you create a new geo database. And so a geo database can be thought of as a container that holds spatial layers or spatial data. Uh, those uh, spatial layers are often called feature classes within a geo database, but you can add in other kinds of GIS data like shape files or imagery rasters, and you can bring them into the geo database as well. 
In this case, I've downloaded some data as a shapefile from uh, Michigan Online Data Portal. And maybe you have some data too uh, from your instructor or from a colleague and you want to add that to ArcGIS Pro. So let me show you how you do that. Here in the Windows environment, I'm just going to show you that uh, straight from the, from the zip file itself, I downloaded this zip file. So now I'm going to unzip it by double clicking it. It will launch my uh, extraction software, which is 7-Zip, which is a freeware. Uh, and so you can get that as well. I'm going to select all of these layers and now I will extract them to my GIS data folder there on my flash drive. So now those are extracted. Let's take a look at them. There they are. The shape file is actually five different files. It's a geo-relational model as it's called. Uh, many different files that contribute to a whole of the shape file. Windows doesn't know uh, how this shape file is is supposed to come together it just shows those five files but ArcGIS Pro does so to access that shapefile I'm going to connect to my GIS data folder which is one level up from lab one to do that I'm going to right click on folders and choose add folder connection here I'll left click this and I will just select the GIS data uh, folder and hit OK now it's added to my, co uh, my catalog uh, here in the pane and now if I, I left click and expand, you can see I've got my lab one folder, which is the same as this one. And now you can see my shape file. So that shape file is recognized. All those files are recognized as coming together here uh, in ArcGIS Pro. Now let's add it to the map. Okay, there are three main ways that I'd like to show you how you could bring this into the data view. From the content uh, of the catalog here, I'm just going to grab the, the actual layer itself and drag it into the data view, or I could grab it and drag it into the contents pane. Either one will be fine. The third way to pull in this data for the data view is to go up here to Map uh, and the main menu and then the drop down for Add Data. So here I'll left click and then I'll choose Data and now I can navigate to that data source. In this case, here it is in my GIS data folder on my USB drive. And now I'll click OK, and it will be added. Awesome. Now let's take a look at where you go to do some of the data analysis for your GIS layers. If you go up here to the analysis option on the main menu, you'll get a new ribbon. In this case, you have different options that are available to you for different tools that can do different types of geoprocessing or different kinds of operation for analysis. You have in the tools kind of group several different options. You can use the drop down here to look at some of the other options available to you. But if you click on the tools toolbox, you'll get a new pane here. It's called the geoprocessing pane. And if you click on toolboxes here in that pane, you'll see all of the different toolboxes that are available in ArcGIS Pro to do your different kinds of data analysis. So many different spatial analysis options. It, the, the software for, from Esri is so incredibly powerful to do all kinds of processing on different vector data and raster data for your GIS work. So depending upon what you want to do, here is where you can go to do your GIS analysis. The last thing I want to show you is how to make a map. So let's say that this view is exactly what we want. We like this particular view for Michigan. Uh, so how can we turn this into a map? Well, the easiest way to do that uh, is under the insert option in the main menu. If I click on insert and I choose new layout, and I can use the drop down here. I have lots of options for the size of my layout. In this case, I'm going to choose the letter eight and a half by 11. And then when I click on that, an, an empty canvas is created. So now let's add a map frame to pull in this data from our map tab into our layout tab. We can do that from the insert main menu option and map frame. I'll use the drop down and I'll choose that same map frame, uh, the, the data frame that we created before. Now I'll draw a bounding box on the empty canvas. Oh, there we go. Now I'll adjust it so that it's more centered. 
And now we want to add some map elements to fill out the cartography here for our, our map. We'll add a title, uh, a north arrow, and a scale bar. So let's start with the north arrow. I'll use the drop down here. I'll click on the north arrow. I'll draw that here. That looks good. Uh, and now I will create a scale bar. I'll use the drop down and choose this first option and draw the scale bar. All right, there we go. Be a little too big. Let's make it a little smaller. All right, there we go. And there we go. And now let's zoom in and take a look. 154 miles isn't uh, very convenient. Let's just make it uh, a little bit more of a whole number. There we go. 140 is good. And now I'll add a title. In this case, I'm going to add from the graphics and text group. I'm just going to choose a rectangle text. So I'm going to draw my rectangle here. And now I'll type in bedrock of Michigan. OK, and now I'm going to uh, increase the size of that. I can simply left click on the, the uh, element. You could do that on any of these elements here. Uh, and then right click and choose the properties. OK, so when you choose the properties, you'll get this uh, pane that opens up uh, here. So you know, then you're, you can make adjustments to the individual properties. Uh, in this case, uh, I'll choose text symbol uh, and I'll use the drop down here to make it maybe 28. Hit apply. And now I will center that text right there. OK. And so now we've made our map and now we can export it as a, some other kind of format like a PDF or an image and or we can share it uh, by by printing it out uh, or uploading it to ArcGIS online. So if you go to share option here you can print it or export it uh, and so you can then export you know options uh, you know right here you can you have these different uh, options available to you. If you're going to upload this and share it on ArcGIS online you need to be logged in to actually do that. To log in to ArcGIS Online, you can log in right here in the upper right. You already have to have an ArcGIS Online account, uh, so you need to set that up, or maybe it's already been set up by your school or by your organization. Uh, and then you can take this map and upload it there, upload the layers that you create in the table of contents, uh, and all of the cartographies and colors that you make there, you can upload to ArcGIS Online if you have an account. So if you've liked this uh, first steps of ArcGIS uh, a Pro, uh, then go ahead and indicate that uh, by liking the video and subscribe to this channel for more GIS content. And come alongside me in the classroom here at Calvin University uh, in your GIS certificate courses or your master's online courses. Uh, and until then, happy GISing. Thanks.